Hold it till we get to the pool. <laughs> No, babe. You got data, does it? I rated this one, ready to conquer, babe. I gotta throw this. Check, check the video for me. I gotta throw this one away now, babe. I I gotta get an iPhone now, babe. The mic in this gun. Travis. The mic gun. Travis, you be seeing me. Gotta get in. I have to get in. I don't have data, but how y'all is function? But y'all always buy Wi Fi. Y'all always in somewhere we got Wi Fi. You have to be connected. See, I always on the road, so I need data. Yeah, we live. Hey, yo. Yeah. Welcome everybody. I just want to check the audio before we start talking. Make sure it's coming through the mic. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, you got to do that thing again with this because it doesn't go past the. It's like you did something before, right? Huh? With the board. No. You good yeah. at me? All right. Yeah, yeah, you good. I'm looking at the reading on the computer right now. there. Good. You pull it up? You see it? No, no. You going on the page? Still loading this BTC data. This oh. thing. <laughs> not enough live relax. data. No. Neither of which are sponsors yet. Okay. <laughs> 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 That? No, you could sketch on that, yeah. That's yeah. if you feel like, you know. So what? I have paper for this, right? Let me see. Spirit, but I was talking yeah, to you. Let me get, let me get a. Yeah. It should be on here, right? Yeah. These notes are all okay. Yeah, I actually may need these. Oh, here we go. No. I'm up there, boss. No. It yeah, should be up. Uh, yeah. Yes. You got it. Let me make sure that's it. Well, this one is a. Uh, you have any pen or anything on you, babe? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Huh? Pen? No. Yeah. No, no. Not you got to make it right. I got it right. Mm. Do you want me to tie that to your thing and then you can see if you can find it? No. Oh. I don't know why I find it. No. I should be there. Mm -hmm. At all. But you say your Wi Fi is not working on the laptop, okay? Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, you know, you know, Wi Fi is a connected with it. Okay. I'm just going to do that. Okay, it's just going to be. Must be live. You sure you're on your personal thing? Let me check. But I guess, I don't know why mine isn't showing, but. Oh, I've seen the familiar. Let's go. Yeah, but like, it's like chairs, like our chairs. Like, yo! Like, yo! Yo! They took it away from us. Yep. Anyhow, we can go on feet. <laughs> I love the audio either way, so let me start recording again. Um, I guess they'll tell you. That I'm gonna. You want me to tether it. and then yeah. check it on yours? Uh, this boy ain't got no data. <laughs> you could, she could no, tether. No, your Wi-Fi. I get I get, get tether. Hold on. Oh, you tether it? Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, so my. I can't even pick up McDonald's on today. My odd spot is <laughs> LG G4 <laughs> stylus, whatever. Oh, and I think we saw it Saturday, but yeah, man, I had, a, I, had a, I had a good time, man. That was solid. Yeah, LG. And I don't go nowhere, so. I thought you were coming to show you. Oh, you connected? No, Ray? man. Wait, look at huh? You ain't connected on your laptop? No. To what? And my password is um. You don't. Oh. You don't want to connect it. I mean, cause I don't. I know. Okay, let me connect to yours. What yours is? Password is what? LG. LG G4 stylus. Oh, I ain't see that. Um, refresh. Yeah, she come open inside. Let's see. Oh shoot! I got the Wi-Fi off. Oh, okay, on. Oh, okay, I see it now. Mm -hmm. All right, you got the put in the password. The password is bow when you see one. Bow. When what? When you see one. Bow <laughs> when you <laughs> see. Bow when you see one. Yes. Cool. When you see one, what? Cool. One of me. Ah! Bow when you see one. <laughs> you spelled the correct way or the junglest way? Bow when you see one. Yeah, there you go. When you See, everything's spelled properly? No. Properly. Okay. Because we bougie in this piece. Okay, I'm just making sure because, you know, you got to ask. Let me stop. We live. Hey. We live. Yeah, yeah, we live. So you just give this. the entire Facebook your password yeah. for your tethering. <laughs> 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 that's a phone number. That's a phone. That's a phone. That's a phone. And it's always off. Yeah. That's a phone. Everybody got your password yep, now. password. <laughs> so if, they, if you see somebody following you, they teeth in your <laughs> phone connection. Just so you know. All right. All right. All right, let me make sure. You got it? Solid. I can check it right now. 
I gotta buy that song today. Can't get it off my head. I see that on top of my YouTube for the longest. I gotta check it out. All right. Do we have a link yet? There we are. I see us. You see us? Yeah, I see us. But I wasn't there for any talking. I think it was right. I was there till it ended, though. Who's supposed to talk? Everybody was talking. We didn't get it. Okay, we got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we saw each other. Yeah, we saw each other. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, we got it. Like the whole volume there. Let me share it. Yeah. You don't see it? You still don't see it? No, no, we're good. You see it on yours? Yeah, I saw it. You share it? Ah, she gone quiet. No, I didn't. All right. <laughs> All right, we are live. Entrepreneur. Chef C. Cool Child. Tag me, boss. Yes, sir. You know that. Yeah. Tags on everything. <laughs> Chef the Culture Podcast. With the great Al Pacino. Put the green in front of that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I can put I it. Italicize that. <laughs> the put some sauce in it. Put some sauce in that. Yes. Come on. Tune in. Be regular. All right. You tag me? Hold on, I got the edit and tag you. <laughs> Pardon, I still, you see? <laughs> Pardon, I told you. Still Rasta. Still Rasta for I. All right, let me bring it in. All right, welcome, welcome back to the Entrepreneur to Entrepreneur Shift the Culture Podcast. Yes. And today we have a celebrity in the house. So, so so, yes, you're a celebrity. So much. Celebrity. Let me tell you how much you're a celebrity. Dazzy, Dazzy the Demi, who is, uh, who's been on the podcast. You've been on once or twice? You've been on the podcast right, before, a couple of times. Yeah. This girl see me post that you're going to be on the show today. She and she calls, she Facebook message, she everything. She say, please. <laughs> I the fan, I wow. need to be on this one. Fun, so I intentionally wow. sit on the side of you, especially so she could have goosebumps the whole show because yes. she says she's a huge fan of yours, as are many people, yes. because of your uh, artwork, specifically your salt artwork, mm -hmm. which has taken off recently. Right. And we're going to let you get into that in a bit. Cool. But um, uh, I didn't pick a topic this time. Uh, Travis, you had something to, that you wanted to discuss before we let Alan tell his story, just so we have a gist of what this episode is going to be about. Yeah, you know, I got the good vibe, which is like the science. So I want to yeah. talk about the art and science yeah. of business, startups, entrepreneurship, whatever the thing mm. that we're going to pursue. Interesting. So. Interesting. Now, Alan. Yes, sir. We don't see you all over Instagram. Yeah. Between Kevin Hart sharing your artwork, mm -hmm. um, various major media outlets just sharing your artwork repeatedly. Please give us your story as to how you got to this point. Because we see this end result, and people think that you just throw together one piece of salt work and then blow up overnight. Right. right Tell right. us the process of what brought you to this point uh, from, from beginning, mm -hmm. and then uh, what got you here. Because the general knowledge is people thought you worked at Morden, and oh, it's really? like, you know, I'm done, man. But tell them the yeah, real shit. story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the real story was I, I was always an artist, man. You know, from from small I grew up. I grew up an artist. I was um, in uh, different workshops coming up to after high school, all through high school I was in art. Um, I was involved with the National Art Gallery doing some stuff, projects, some projects there. Okay. Uh, a few years, not working there, but you know, mm. um, that's all over the place, man. Different shows and exhibitions and all that. Um, I became a little bit bored. You know, uninspired, you know, kind of different stuff. Mm. Uh, bored with what, specifically? Bored with, with um, all right, well, you know, when you perfect something, like, I perfected, like, the same, uh -huh. but, you know, you don't make mistakes, but. Mm. Uh -huh. You've done it so many done times. done so many times, no. right? You know, mm -hmm. you, you just look for challenge. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. I was looking for a few challenges in different places, so, mm -hmm. you know, I, I stopped drawing from pictures and stuff. I just started to draw on my imagination most of the time, 98% mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. The only time I would draw from a photo if, if someone want a portrait done or something like okay, that. Okay, okay. Or whatever. So I would just depend on, you know, my training over the years and stuff. Mm -hmm. The salt came about, too, when I, when I made a m mistake in the kitchen. You know, I dropped some rice on the ground. Mm -hmm. You was cooking or what? No, I was actually cleaning up. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And the, the rice spilled on the ground. Okay. It's actually on Facebook. Okay, so okay. The, the, the day of, yeah, the, the day, day of. the day that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Hold on, hold the beginning. Hold on, hold on. beginning. This is a true story. Yeah. True story. <laughs> I am still in it. It's like, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Look at this. I have it to clean this up rice now. Rice drop on the floor. Rice <laughs> drop on the okay, floor. Okay, so what yeah. happened when the rice drop on the floor? I started to sweep it up, you know, to sweep it into like a face form. Mm. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. 
I took a picture of it. Mm-hmm. Took a picture of it. Posted. And I wish I could just pull it up or something like that because then for. Is, is on it like people when we get, when we get more editors we'll kind of edit it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. you can let us know what, let them know what I'll page they could find it on yeah I'll find it I'll what's, what's the page uh, where they can find it it was on my um, Alan Petrino Wallace um, Facebook page okay okay alright uh-huh. uh, then it was just getting off then I started to do some other stuff with, with dirt and leaves and all that you mm-hmm. know did salt mm-hmm. um, I did the salt one too out of my imagination and someone posted a picture of this guy in Houston was doing it um Rob the original, he, he was doing some stuff too. Mm, yeah, he's pretty dope. He's Familiar good. with him, yeah. yeah he's really cool, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, someone made a snarky comment like, "Oh, you can't do it. like Rob. Rob is the beast." Oh, they challenge you. Challenge. I, you. I think ah. I remember that same day too. Yeah, remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, but they didn't know I did it out of my imagination. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, that's pretty cool. I said, okay, let me um, you know, do something, uh, from a photo, mm-hmm. right? Because I have a photo background of portraits. Okay. So I did face off. But instead of just doing Nicolas Cage, mm-hmm. I did this skull coming out of Nic- Nicolas Cage face. Really? Like getting pulled out of the face. So I took it there. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow. And, that was, and then I just did some other ones after that. Shoot, I have to look for that. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, I did yeah, that I gotta, I gotta I basically, that well. to be honestly, To be honest, I, I did that to tell him shut up. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Don't yeah. do that to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being cocky come see me. Yeah, right. like, yeah, come yeah. see me. Come yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Wow. You know, and then... I did some portraits and I, when I did the Kevin Hart, Rob saw it mm. and he posted it and he was like, you know, this, look, I'm inspiring someone, you know, mm-hmm. but then he reached out to me privately when he did his um, uh, background check and he, he realized I was doing it, you know, mm-hmm. for a while. Just when he checked the timeline. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. And then he's like, you know, he, he apologized about it and it became really, really cool. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Good yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah. Now, so, because I thought, I was wondering when you started uh, before, because I was yeah. like, look here, if a child using up all this salt, I know they mark and cut, they have <laughs> using up all the good salt in the kitchen. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and I missed out a lot of that story too, by the way. There, mm-hmm. you know, there are parts, but. Yeah, you know, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely uh, got to condense it. Yeah. Because, you know, this is a short show too. Yeah. But um, let's get into Travis. Mm-hmm. Explain to us what you mean when you say the art of business. Tell me, yeah, guy. The, the art and science. The art and science of well, business. What, well, what, what, what do you have in mind? Tell us what, exactly what you mean. Well, with me, on, like how I operate on a, uh, on a day-to-day, I always look at what I do from a business perspective on both sides, the art of it and the science of it. I, I was informally trained as a designer. My main background is programming, but I work with a lot of designers mm-hmm. um, and worked with a lot of creative projects. Um, you probably appreciate it too, like doing uh, social media campaigns for uh, the Dali Museum, mm-hmm. or do like like uh, so. It kind of it was kind of a jumping in and out of a lot of different worlds, and even uh, in general, as a I guess as a creative, you kind of look at a lot of different things from inspiration. But you at the same time through that journey, you see how a lot of things are connected. Mm-hmm. So, on on the vein of the art and science of business, I guess the first question to open up is that how how does one find I guess under our passion to do a business like what you do or what you do and kind of turn it into like a fluid, you know, process. Uh, any, any, any initial thoughts? Mm-hmm. Oh, me first? Yeah, well, I, I would just like to say, you know, it's interesting when you came up with the topic art, mm. you know, and science because a lot of what I do, I consider to be science. And the reason why I say that is, what makes people, first of all, let me just introduce who I am for anybody who's watching. Mm. I'm a certified internet marketer, mm. but my focus is always on sales, mm. the sales end of that actual process. So you have a lot of persons who are interested in, you know, the beauty of it, mm. um, you know, the art, the pretty, pretty posts. Mm. I focus on the metrics and the conversion. Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't convert, I can't it. I don't care how beautiful it is. So mm. a lot of times me and designers we get mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Oh, that yeah, is a get, conflict yeah, <laughs> yeah. as I was about to say I really yeah. don't I, I'm not too fond of people like you <laughs> yeah. yeah if it's not converting it's gone yeah. and then I also do copywriting and mm. what copy is, is it's basically triggering um, pros- prospects or prospective customers to make it to do an action mm. based on what words you have on a post mm. so you can use words to repel people away from your brand as well as attract them mm. so some brands that you may not like that you consider you know the post to be inflammatory or you just may not like the tone of anything they do mm. that's intentional because sometimes they try to niche down to get a certain demographic mm. right so it's intentional but so even copywriting it itself is like an art and a science it's it like you gotta and a science it yeah. is yeah. it is and sometimes you know so i understand completely what you're talking about mm. but i think i lean a little heavier on the science mm. part of it yeah. Yeah. rather than the art. That's why 
and I appreciate the art so mm. much. Right. Because, you know, my brain doesn't really conceptualize the art as much mm. as someone like Alan or you. You know, I, I see more of the science, you know, the data, the analytics, you know, is it converting um, where it is in the funnel and also analyzing the psychology of the prospects and using their emotions to trigger action, mm -hmm. you know? So that's, that's my little niche. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, you, you yeah. analytics. I, <laughs> I, I live on the art side, I'm more creative. Yeah. I hate numbers. Really? Uh, yeah. I hate, that's, that's why I say people percents. like you. Uh, <laughs> I hate it, I, 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 I don't want, and I, I think Alan may be able to relate. Yeah. I don't want to spend my time dealing with that kind of stuff. I just yeah. want to create, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I like for it to be done though. Yeah, well, of course. Like, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to be the one I mean, doing it. Nobody right. doesn't want <laughs> right. to not do it. It's yeah. just like yeah. where, where kind of your flow kind of comes in a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Um, so let's discuss that because that's interesting because you need both. Yeah. Okay. So to be uh, successful, yeah. you need both. So, so looking at a lot of uh, brands right now, you have a lot of entrepreneurs or people wanting to start companies. And like yeah. obviously the first, the, it, the internet has lowered the barrier entry to do that by Absolutely. giving you tools and platforms like social media for one. You could easily start an account. You know, you could... Um, put a nice cover photo up and start <laughs> posting ideas. Mm -hmm. right. But like, people don't really know how technical it could get, especially when it comes to promoting your brand. Um, right. We, I thought we, I think we talked about on episode, a few episodes or so before in terms of like, you could get your brand out there, but you have to execute on your business to make sure you're either p providing a good service yeah. or or whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> what? <laughs> Bloopers. Um, <laughs> um, but what? That's a good tip. <laughs> but what people don't understand is that it's it's things like timing that really could get it. Like it's like kind of blending on two worlds. Like when Salt Bay came out, which right. is the, your one of your most viral ads. Right. Uh, I mean, one of your viral uh, posts, mm -hmm. and it was related to like a meme that was going on at around the time. Right. Um, and timing came into play, you decide, you know what, you're going to do this. So yeah. you and your own craft, you decided to do this thing, take this photo, and then yes. you posted it on, right on social media. Yeah. Yeah. People already knew what your brand was before that, so right. they already knew and were familiar with what's going on. So right. I, that kind of helped yes. in the vi virality. And where, so, uh, where the social component of that comes in, where the science is, mm -hmm. it was a relevant meme. People knew what it exactly. was, people related Very to it. Right. Tell us so it was, yeah. like a, it was a beautiful blend that kind of came like a, a hundred hit combo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, tell like, us. Yeah. Yeah. He's genius. Yes. Yeah, Alan, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell us right. exactly yeah. when, when the Salt Bay blew up. Yeah. What yeah. went through your mind? Like when you saw the video with, with Salt Bay. Yeah, when He's I now Salt Bay. Yeah, I'm yeah. now Salt Bay. Yeah, yeah. 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 too. Yeah. Right. A couple of times they named me in the name. But I always have the challenge of what, with the salt because I don't do it every day and I don't do it all the time. Mm -hmm. What to do? You know, when am I going to do it? Right. I'm not going to do You don't it always think, of, you don't mm -hmm. have like a grand idea on the time. It's like you got to think about what you want to do. I like, no, you I know. Have, yeah. You know, you know, I have to feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. I don't have to be like, um, not to be like, okay, I'm going to do this. I know it's going to get them on a like, so I'm going to push it. Get it. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. People are trying to do that. Mm -hmm. They're trying to mimic that uh, and they're yeah. feeling at it. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know, because yeah. there's, there's another salt guy out there, um, not, not, um, not Rob. Another mm -hmm. guy, mm -hmm. he's more, you know, arrogant with it. He's somewhere in, in, in Europe, mm -hmm. and he recently started doing it. You know, for like six months ago. He blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> you know, oh, you <laughs> she oh, probably was Twitter? promoting you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I ran up and told him, Psh. "Who are you?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Euro, but I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. so Very like, meta, by the way. Like, really? and my wife, she wouldn't be too mad with the story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm up because um, if you look at the time I posted, I think I posted like around. 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Mm. So I'm doing it, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. A few hours later, you know, Salt Bay was done. So I wake up, baby, I need you to take this picture. I don't know what the hell you be saying. Because she don't like to be, yeah. sorry, sorry, Karina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she don't like when I wake up in the middle of the night or whatever, she's sleeping for work or whatever. So mm. she's like, come on, man, come on. So I walk in the front room. Show it. She's like, you lucky this look good. Speaking of another junkyard. Took a few pictures and, uh -huh. and I posted it. And um, I posted it. And all of a sudden, you know, we just start going up, going up. And the next one of my, I don't call his name, but the next single friend of mine, he's like, buddy, Neo just like your post. Mm -hmm. Right? This, the, the musician. I'm like, okay, cool, pretty cool, Neo. Mm -hmm. And then it started going up and going up. And other people like with huge followers started mm -hmm. posting like mm -hmm. people well um six million followers two million followers mm -hmm. and they were posting and then people would come to my page and mm -hmm. 
you know, it just it just blew up, man. It was just all over the place. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, it was crazy all over the place. Mm. And I, I knew why, because of the, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, especially, like, what you touched on is that other people attempted it and they failed. Yeah. Um, probably a part of that is because the people who tried to do it, was it consistent with their brand? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Because mm-hmm. when you look back at your track record, people can always see, like, oh, you've been doing this for a while in different forms or like that. Right. But people say, and that's kind of a danger for a lot of brands because a lot of... Um, individual entrepreneurs or let's say your client wants to everybody wants that viral hit right right but not everybody could get that viral hit because there's a lot more to it taking that wave outside of doing a funny or creative post like you said yeah you're, you're like creative has to convert yeah and I was just, yeah, yeah go ahead i was just gonna say my take on viral posts are this mm. they're great they're awesome However, you know, I'm the dollars and cents. Got a chance right. to mm-hmm. Conversion queen. So I'm right, like, right. okay, what are, what are we converting off of this? And what now then is the plan? So right. now we're getting all this traffic. How are we mm-hmm. going to convert this into monetization? Right. right. Yeah. Correct. You know, and some of the, the clients I work with, um, mm-hmm. you know, they get annoyed. They're right. like, but, but, you know, we got a thousand shares. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. Yeah, mm-hmm. but how much how people, you, you know, did you know, it? How do we capital, is, capitalize right. on what this? What then is the plan? Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. So, but I think mm-hmm. Alan said something that's important. He yeah. did. And it was... You know, he said he wasn't trying to go viral per se. No, right. So I think it's about authenticity too, like being right. genuine yeah. with it. Because some people just oh, do sure, things sure, sure, with sure, the sure. purpose yeah. of trying Correct. to go yeah. viral. Yeah. And it doesn't usually work out. Yeah, yeah. I want to add something to that because it makes sense go what ahead. you're saying too. Because yeah. that conversation, I was having that conversation with um, um, Jamal Steph last night too mm-hmm. about, you know, doing do things just for likes or right. yeah. whatever, for celebrity shout out. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I have this angle on it. And this is my way of it you know, translating into what I'm doing. Because I did the Kobe Bryant thing and Yahoo picked it up and the other places picked it up. Because I did the uh, Kimbo Slice and the ESPN mm-hmm. shared it and did all that stuff. Because I did all these things. You on a radar. And, here, and here's the thing. Here's what happens. And this is, this is the angle that I look at it as. If I had to pay these guys for a commercial, mm. I can't afford that, man. No yeah. way. You have big companies that can't afford a commercial exactly. with these, yep. with these sites. And with these, um, you know, people who yeah. endorse you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If Kevin and I do a commercial for you, Ooh, you can't pay him. He, he, the people who he, he's telling now, where they want, okay, I want you to share this on your, your social media, mm. social media, Kevin. Influence, influence. You know what he said? No. Mm. You got to pay me for that. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Which is smart. And this, yeah. is movie, this movie is that he's right. in. Yeah. yeah. Right. So if he did that for me for free. Right. Inspiration. And if, uh, right. And if other big you can't, places. You can't even measure that all right. You can't measure no. that. Yeah. And, and how it translates for me is then I go into my DM. Mm. My direct Absolutely. messages, and there I'd be like, go. oh, Alan, do you do this and you do that? I'm like, yes, I do this and mm. I do that. Thanks. Oh, how much is for this and how much is for that? Oh, well, how m- this is for so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Oh, Alan, can you come to this place? Mm. Sure, I can. Mm. No, I can't. Like, that conversation wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have happened. Right. Absolutely. If I didn't, you, you, you right. I mean? Absolutely. If you didn't do all of the, the, the many things that kind of add up to that over right. time. So I take advantage of it. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Like, and again... Again, it, it all comes down to brand. Like, say, I, I, you look at you as an artist, but yeah. you also look at you as a brand, right? Yeah. And, and mm. well, I, I mean, mean, a personal you know, you brand. Word, right? I, I, I know, yeah, yeah, I mean. I don't know. Let me hear why. Uh, but I, I say. Why. Why uh, tell no, me. We, we, I think you all we spoke about it before. But I mean, uh-huh. brand, I get it. I understand it. But I don't know. No, I, if, I understand why you hate it, too, because it puts you in a box. Exactly. Yeah, it kind of put in a, a, a Yeah, right. but I mean, just uh, just for like just formulaic purposes of explaining. Let's say, let, okay, let me use a better word: authenticity. Mm. For what you've done, your signature is in your work. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's say outside of you as the artist, there are brands that try to do the same thing either through brand guidelines no, I, I or tone of voice. Saying, yeah. When you did it, it was Alan all all the way through. Right. It's organic. Right, and people try to either do the funny things, but they're not authentic to their brand. It's like you might retreat a funny thing, but how does it relate to you mm-hmm. as a company? Like one of the best things in terms of ROI and ban for buck as well is the famous um, Oreo ad at the Super Bowl two or three years ago when the the Super Bowl blacked out because of the. Um, oh, yeah. The electricity went out, uh-huh. yeah. and then Oreo. Somebody who was on the creative and design team, Oreo, just did a simple Oreo cookie uh-huh. uh, with the light in the back of it, and they reposted it as that you could dunk in the dark. 
Yeah. They paid wow. zero. Yeah. They genius. paid zero <laughs> yeah. for that yeah. at a Super Bowl. When wow. one Super Bowl at Spot probably cost two million, they paid zero. Two for that. shoot, this year was five million yeah. in thirty seconds. But like, but at the at the same token, it was authentic to Oreo because yeah. it still included what Oreo was about in terms of enjoying the cookies with milk. Mm -hmm. So that tied to the timing, all be made the science art almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel you with that. I yeah. guess my thing is, and I didn't mean to say like I hate violence, yeah, yeah, yeah. but. I mean, I, I guess in the, the sense that I understand what the word word means, it almost like, like when a, a actor get typecast. Uh, so I got gotcha. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why, with me, like you would see some of my work, mm. and you wouldn't think that I've done it. Like, right. My name wasn't on it. Mm. Right. Or you would see me do certain things. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Right. So you you like that freedom to be able to do other things and not just be tied to one yeah. specific yeah. thing. Mm. And it's a double-edged sword too because you do it and you perfect your art and you get so good but then again you have to switch around because you get put in that box. Mm -hmm. So you always look for those challenges to do different things and to try to take it to another level. Like I, like say for example too like you could you probably could have gone the next 5 10 years kind of doing consistently the portfolio there right now mm -hmm. but you recently just came from a trip from 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 Rome, from Rome yeah. where you decided you got to like you know it's a, it's a whole different I world. Call it the what's next? Yeah. Effect. Yeah, yes. the what's that? Yeah, yes. what's next? When you hit that point it's like yeah. okay, what do what's you do next? next? Right. Yeah. But Everything. you even learn like like I one of the questions I asked you like right after your trip is like what's one of the things that you picked up and you said details. details yeah. Like wow. you know, mm -hmm. and to me looking at your art you could see like what what the hell do you mean? But it's a deeper level that Something you go to get to. Like, yeah. Even with my drawings that I'm starting to do some sketches now. Mm. Like Cause I, I always was about detail too, mm -hmm. you know. Like pen, I used to love pen works and stuff. Like just meticulous, man. Even mm -hmm. when I was doing like the um, hyper realism, mm -hmm. and I stopped because someone thought I um, copied it or traced it and stuff. I stopped it because I mm -hmm. put all that work in. You, you, you know, you want, wow. um, you know, people. You want to be right when I ask you for mm -hmm. the for yeah, that. For um, sure. Yeah, and that's a deeper thing with me too as an artist. Like I, um, I remember Mr. Roberts one time telling me, said, you know, you, you basically you're a performer. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like you like oh. to entertain people, mm -hmm. and that's basically what it is. I like to show you. You know, there are so many things you can do, mm -hmm. and if you're feeling it, you know, I feel a sense of satisfaction from that. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so, um, yeah. so a, a question I wanted to ping your way um, in terms of, okay, not everybody feels like they have that to to do such a creative post or to get so much likes and stuff like that. What do you say to a company or entrepreneur? That, you know, is fairly active on social media, but are looking to do that next thing to kind of make their brand blow up. What are some of the things that well, they should do from a science perspective on, on how they could gain traction and growth? Well, the first thing they need to do is to figure out who they actually want to target. Mm -hmm. Because the old audience. Way, yes. the audience, who is the audience? The old way of marketing is kind of just, you know, putting some stuff together and throwing it on the wall and hope, you know, hoping it's some fixed. Mm -hmm. You know, we, mm -hmm. we have this for ladies, men, you know, boys, girls, come one, come all, that kind of thing. <laughs> right. You know, and in today's world, with especially with marketing online, you know, especially with like you know social media, it's so niche down. You mm -hmm. can touch, you yeah. know, mothers between the ages of twenty-five and forty-five mm -hmm. who make over a hundred thousand dollars who watch Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and live in this area. Mm -hmm. You can get you know, very you can specific. Get, you can get extremely specific. Yeah. Uh, so you you completely waste your money, and for the brands that have not you know, niche down and zero in on exactly where their audience is and they want everybody to be the audience, they lose. Yeah. You know, so that's the first thing, knowing who your audience is. And then the second thing is don't be boring. So don't be worrying? Don't be boring. boring. Oh boring. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um I was in a I was in a meeting, you know, a couple of weeks ago and the only problem that they had was trying to package and serve up, you know, content that was just so old fashioned in the way that it would relate to the public, like press releases mm. and you know, that sort of thing. They have their place. They, they weren't, again, it ties into thinking about the audience, but thinking about how you could be, get it in the most creative way. Not only that, you know, on social people, they, they want you to be authentic. Yeah. They want to see behind the curtain. Mm. You know, they want to kind of know, you know, what, what passion drives you. They want a story. Mm. You mm -hmm. know, so when you when you have a true narrative of a of a brand mm -hmm. or a company, people are attracted to that, mm -hmm. and that's why you're so successful because people see the passion behind just the work. You know, it's just not you know there seemingly for likes or for shares. Mm -hmm. right, right. You know, you're kind of telling 
you know, a story through your art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is how I feel today. This is what I did. You know, and sometimes you even have like inspirational posts and I love mm-hmm. your hashtag design strong, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. it's powerful. So yeah. people react to emotion, people react to reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you don't have that, um, and if your brand doesn't have that, you know, then you're you're kinda losing them and you're you're wasting money and you're wasting time. That's mm-hmm. just the bottom line, you know. Right. And the top end of that emotion yeah. and, and um, reality. Alan, we, we we did another show uh, together, and it was, I was I felt it was interesting, um, was a interesting show. part of your, an interesting part of your story that a lot of people don't know. Yeah. Tell us about the jobs that you had <laughs> before you fully committed to art, because mm. you know, like we said, it's reality. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you know people don't see your vision, right, right. and they convince you that Lord, you're wasting your time doing that. Right. You got to take a real job. Wow. Right. Tell us about those people that made you feel as though art was not the way for you to go, yeah. and the results of them telling you that. What jobs that you took up, and then yeah. what happened on those jobs? No problem. Um, well, for the most part, I, I've, I've always you know had you know a, a great amount of support. Mm-hmm. Um, from my family, you know, uh, my friends, mm-hmm. you know, they 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 all support what what I what I do. Cause mm-hmm. I pretty much too like like to support my friends and you know and what they what they want to do too. Mm-hmm. Um, before I got married too, I was in some relationships and stuff like that or whatever. You mm-hmm. know, one major one, you know, kind of pushed me to, to to try to to be normal per se. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying the normal is bad, mm-hmm. but it wasn't my um, passion. Was in my right. direction, mm-hmm. and I took some odd jobs. Um, I it didn't was know one for of me. Them. One of them, one of them was a, uh, you know, I, I was a bar back. Then I turned into a bartender from that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I was um, security guard for a day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's I like a whole book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for a day. Yeah. Yeah. one day. Yeah, one day. Uh-huh. You know, I was um, a high school teacher. Um, wow, really? I was a high school teacher too. Wow. For, yeah, for wow. a few months. Um, what did you teach? Teach art? I thought I taught art. Okay, because sometimes you know people they specialize in art, but they would be a maths teacher or something. Yeah, they actually. Yeah. So that was yeah. actually part of it too. They wanted me to, to do some of that as well. Some some English and mm. I, I, it wasn't you right. Know, it wasn't um, you know, I didn't feel when I left it too. I didn't feel right. You felt like you had to force it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Good fit. yeah. Good uh, natural. Yeah, and, and students deserve you know exactly. the, the best teachers. Exactly. Right? exactly. You know, I wasn't yeah. the best. You know, exactly. In art. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I, I could, I could help you, but mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, I took some odd jobs. I was always drawing on these jobs. You know, um, I didn't tell you, but the time when I was drawing on, on some tablecloth when I was working in banquet. Um, oh really? Yeah, I got in trouble for that. <laughs> wow. yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, wow. I, I, I know yeah. that shit. Save them now. Yeah. Yeah. Drawing on <laughs> tablecloth. You lose. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever that was. <laughs> Should have kept them. <laughs> Should have kept them. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, but but I was you know there was a lot of lot of people who support me even on those jobs you know mm-hmm. and I was a bar bar back um, too one time um, Atlantis you know and it's like I'll remind you need to follow your dreams and stuff. Like you that mean too. these these were coworkers yeah, telling co-workers you this? That's you interesting because yeah. we I, we did a whole show on yeah. on support and the lack mm-hmm. of support mm-hmm. wow. and you I think you're very fortunate because you had like you yeah. said you had a lot of people close to you that yeah. supported you because yeah. you know the I rest of us yeah <laughs> I can tell there's only an X or two. Yeah. On the yeah, I mean, because you know, yeah, I mean, it ain't gonna be air, but you got you'll have I, like, and that's the beautiful thing about, I guess, where where we all got to this point. Yeah, there's always like that one or two people out of that sea of negativity to be like, yeah, yeah. you know, try it or, or do it and all that stuff. I think we all need that, though. I yeah. mean, like, the one because you really want to impress, yeah, yeah. the one who you, yeah, 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 sure. yeah. that guy will cost you going to take yeah. a security job, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. muse, muse, we'll say muse, yeah. um, nothing against, um, <laughs> that. no. You know. Yeah. But you know, it, no, it, everything it, against you. Whoever you is. Go and make this man it. take this yeah. time security job. Security. You know he's oh, artist. Oh, oh, oh. Genius. Not you messing know. around. <laughs> no, but to me, you know, you know what horrifies me? To hear that, you know, he could have possibly and only picking on you because you're here, you know? Yeah. But the thought of you possibly being stuck as a security guard yeah. with all of this genius, uh-huh. that is horrifying. But, but it, it happens it, all, it happens all, the, all time. the time. Because yeah. not, not, all the not time. Ev- as we know, mm. not yeah. everyone is Alan or you know whoever no. else uh, went on to be successful. You have many yeah. people that are gifted, maybe yeah. just as gifted. Yeah. Some may be more gifted, yeah. but yeah. they allow society to pressure them yeah. into taking these jobs that they feel because they don't understand the art portion of that marriage yeah. between art and science. Mm-hmm. They just see science. Well, yeah. I, I see it among some of my, my friends, too, and mm-hmm. colleagues. And I have a friend right now, and I hope you're watching this. <laughs> but, you know, 
it's it's truly a shame that you're not giving the world what you were born to do. Yes. Yeah. My cousin, like, that I stay on him about that all the time. And I, I harass her, you know, constantly yeah, because, I yeah. mean, I, it, it hurts me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, listen, yeah. I'll work for you for free. Mm-hmm. Just please do this. Yes. You know what I mean? There's so much factors, but right? But it's just mean, like, factors. confidence, yes. psychology, confidence, just. Confidence, psychology. Yes. But, you know, what happens, too, I think, and sometimes what helps is just being a complete misfit. You have no other choice. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's how that I was. Yeah. Mm. You know, in the corporate environment, I was a failure, basically, because I wasn't politically correct enough. Mm. You know, I mm. wasn't the, the exact psychological profile that's a good worker mm. that can just, you know, not question how it's being right. done, why right. it's being done. You know, and just once you get to the point where you realize that you have no other choice, mm-hmm. and then also that knowing that you can help so many people. Because one of the things for me was being stuck working for someone meant, you know, I would do their job beautifully. Mm. But I would think, my God, you know how much people I could truly help? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and I'm just and being yeah. selfish, you know, yeah. giving away my resources, yeah. you know, to this one firm, mm-hmm. you know, when I can help so many people. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and so. like, it's always like a balance with that too. Like some people, like, I don't know. It's, mm-hmm. it, you need, you, you need sometimes to go through that to understand what you're, yeah. Or a little bit about where your goals are or right. like what you want to do or where your talents lie. I agree. But I definitely agree. It comes to the point, especially if you're not satisfied with there. Let's say you do that, but you eventually get stake or growth in, a com- in that company or another right. thing. That's a whole different conversation. Right. But if you're there and you feel like, man, I, I, could, I could do this for other people, mm-hmm. then yes, yeah, it, you have to share that and, and ex- share that experience with other people and help yeah. people. But where people, uh, I guess... Don't, uh, where people get tripped up is that they feel like once they leave that comfort zone, like they get scared and, it, and they get like uh, tracked important. back. No. I think with us, we didn't care about a comfort zone. Exactly. Like, See, I had no concern about a no comfort concern zone wherever I am. Mm. See, the thing about it is, I guess if, we, if you're good enough, your desk will always be waiting for you. Mm. Right, right. You know? exactly. You o- you're, you'll always find you'll always, work if you're good. Yeah, no ma- wherever I've been, you mm-hmm. know, they're always like, you know, hey, if you want to come back, you know, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, your, but your gift will truly make way for you. Mm-hmm. You know, if that's, that's what you're good at and that's what you're passionate about. You know, I, I am so, listen, I get on people because you, we have so much time, right? Mm. And life passes you by so quickly. Mm. And before you know it, five years pass, ten years pass, mm-hmm. and a lot of yep. times financially, yep. mm-hmm. You know, not only is your gift going to be a source of fulfillment, mm. but a lot of times financially, that's where, you know, it's going to make a real difference in your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, and yeah. to deny that, my God. Yeah, but, but see, for happens. comfort, you trade it. You trade. Yeah. You would, you would rather put your heart, your art, and your talent in a, in a, like a box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just for consistency, security, and all that stuff. It'd be like, okay, yeah. you know, or perceive, you, or perceive, perceive, or perceive, consistency perceive consistency security. And security. Because once you do this and you do A, B, C, and everything's okay, you'll move up and you do this thing and you can build this life. But what it, you, but your talent, and your heart catches yeah. dust. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah. and, and it's just, and just like your passion, talent dies. You have to flex it like a muscle, especially Absolutely. if it's something you got to do. You okay. have to work it. You have to learn how to get it to a point where it's strong enough, and yeah. then you learn to flip it and multiply yeah, it and make it work for you. That's why you're drawing table cloth. That's why. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that was just the flex in the muscle. That, yeah, yeah, that was just the muscle. Yeah. But I tell you one thing, uh-huh. and I'll just say this quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, where I found a lot of inspiration was because a lot of the creatives, mm-hmm. they don't really have any. They do it because they love it, mm-hmm. and the conversion and the metrics and the money part and the income and the monetization, all that part. They're like, I don't care about that. I just want to create. Mm-hmm. Yes. So where I where I fit in a lot is you know being that balance. Mm-hmm. Okay. And saying, you know, hey, You're a part of that team to be like, okay, yeah, well, you work on that, you and work then on you, that, nice. and yeah. I'll figure out, you know, nice. how to help you make the money from it, right. you know, that kind of right. way. Yeah. Um, because it's definitely, you know, when your right brain is all creative, a lot of times that BEC bill is, you know, or BPL, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's yeah. That's, it has to get tended to, but yeah. right now I'm creating this. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's a balance. It's a, yeah, it's it's a, a fair balance. balance. Yeah. But um, I think I think Alan, you got somewhere to go for five. I wish we could keep you a little longer. Yeah. But we yeah. don't run past our time anyhow. Oh, what time is it? Damn, that was yeah, 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 the show was about yeah. thirty to forty minutes. Yeah. We do the show. This show a lot shorter. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so we 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 don't pass thirty minutes now. <laughs> uh, we got we can have you back though. That's all you good. can always come yeah, back. This this home. Yeah. Whenever it's you want to come through, you can come through. Yeah. yeah, understand. But I know you got. I think you got a meeting to go to, so we ain't yeah. gonna hold you up for too much appreciate longer. But we yeah. greatly appreciate you gracing us with your Thanks, presence. Yeah, it's not too often we have celebrities in here. I gotta get a picture. Oh yeah, we wrap the show. We wrap the show. Yeah, we got a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah we wrapping up. We wrapping up. <laughs> but once again, appreciate it, Dazzy. Yeah. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Valid points as always, Travis. Always. 
This was always fun as usual. Put a face to the yes, yes, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This young. How old he look? He look like he only about fifteen. Listen, that's yeah, why yeah. I was like, wait a second. And I went back and I read some of his posts. Just turned like, twenty eight, man. Look at him. Wow. Okay. Look at him. Look at God. Yeah. Look at God. Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks once again. Yeah. Let's wrap this up as we do as always. With losers make excuses, winners make adjustments. Thank you for tuning in, people. Oop. After show. Nice. Woo! That was good. That was great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, oh. Yeah. Let's, let's oh, it's a lot. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, <laughs>